Similar to the Boston Marathon bombings, you've heard that a lot in this case. Tonight, we spoke with Ed Davis, the man who led the manhunt for the Marathon bombers, about what's the same, what's different, and where we go from here. WBZ Shante Lands has more. Shante? And David, Massachusetts authorities are stepping up their security at places like Gillette Stadium and here at South Station. This all happening after 29 people were hurt from a bomb detonated in New York City. Ahmad Khan Rahami, a U.S. citizen who was allegedly, for whatever reason, angry. Well, quite frankly, this is the new face of terrorism. And WBZ security analyst Ed Davis knows terrorism well. He was Boston's police commissioner in 2013 during the marathon bombings. The bomb that uh, was put in in New York, the pressure cooker bombs, were very similar in makeup to what we saw here in Boston. But despite those similarities, there were differences. Like the type of explosives used inside the bombs and the triggering device. Davis says the Tsarnaev brothers set off their bombs with a remote control. The suspect in New York detonated the bomb with a cell phone. That allows that device to be set off from anywhere in the world. And the fact that he was able to get this done, to me, shows a level of sophistication that requires training. A WBZ has learned Rahami traveled to his native country of Afghanistan multiple times, according to law enforcement sources. As a standard procedure, he was questioned every time he returned to the U.S., but was not on the radar as someone who might have been radicalized. Davis says combating homegrown terrorism is not easy. You have to prosecute the war overseas in, in Syria and Iraq and do preventive stuff here in the United States with just as much dedication. After enduring the marathon bombings, Massachusetts residents weigh in. It's daddy well thing. I feel like you just hear about it way too much. And it's going to be decades before this is over. We need to adapt to it, to be vigilant, but also not to be frightened. And Ed Davis says if you see something, say something. One of the investigators in New York say that the bomb was sitting in New York City for several hours before someone told police. Live in Boston, Shante Lands, WBZ News.